So let's see the problems on time and work and I'll explain one sum on ratios and we'll see one other type of question also. First let me type the question uh, then we'll continue the problem how to solve. So which is related to time and work. Okay. Now this problem is like this A and B can do a piece of work in 45 days. So A and B can do the work in 45 days and 40 days respectively. So alone individually they given A can do work the same work in 45 days and B 40 days. Okay, then they began the work together. They began the work together but A leaves after some days. So the days we don't know we need to find out that. So A leaves the work after some days and B finished finish the remaining work in 23 days. So remaining work how many days B did they are given. Remaining work in 23 days. Now after how many days did A leave? So after how many days A left the work that we need to find out. So using this problem so let's see how to solve in simple. A, B capacities are given individually. So one day's work we can find out for both of them. So the problem is A's. A, one day's work. Is equals to 1 by 45, right? Because he can do in 45 days. So one day's his work is 1 by 45 and similarly B one day's uh, work also that is 1 by 40 because he can do work in 40 days. Now B 23 days work actually B worked for 23 days continuously because in between A left but B finished the remaining work in 23 days. So remaining work you need to find out. First, how much work is left that we will find out first of all. So, B is 20 days work. If you know B is 1 day's work, so B 23 days work we can find out. So, 1 day capacity is 1 by 40. So, 23 days means 23 into 1 by 40. That is 23 by 40 work B can do, B did. So, remaining work is done by A plus B together. Because A plus B is doing together but A left after some days. So this work is only B uh, did. Now remaining work is. So remaining. Because B did continuously for 23 days right. So that's why B 23 days work I found. Then remaining work done. By A plus B. Is equals to total work if it is 1 then 23 by 40 work is done by B 23 days. The 1 minus 23 by 40. So LCM 40 minus 23 by 40. 17 by 40. So 17 by 40 is A and B did together. Now let's find out A and B's work for one day. So using this both statement. So I can write in here directly. A plus B is one day's work that is equals to 1 by 45 plus 1 by 40. Try to take LC on this uh, 360 will come. Again 40 
table this is so simplify this total will get 45 and 40 will get around 17 okay 9 plus 8 so 17 that I did 17 by 60 that is A and B one day's work so now 17 by 360 work is done by A plus B in one day and do reciprocal so that is you can remember no, you can write a statement here therefore one work is done by A plus B so A and B together is equals to 360 by 17 days because 17 by 360 is one day's work so they together they complete the work in 360 by 17 so reciprocally should do this one work is done by but how much work is done so one work is done by in 360 by 17 days a and b together but 17 by 40 okay this is 17 by 40 is also a and b work work is done by how many days it takes some x now then x is equals to this both you need to multiply that is 17 by 40 into 360 by 17 so simplify cancel 0 0 4 1 so 9 so 9 days that means hence a left after 9 days so a left the work after 9 days okay after 9 days then a left the work so in this way you can find out only thing is which is done according to that you should take the problem a alone b alone then a plus b together one days so remaining work you need to try to find out first remaining work is this much so if a and b is capacity if you know for one days then you can find out the remaining work also by using the simple formula just cross multiplication i did so what are the answer you got nine days you got nine we got so after nine days a left the work and next we will see one problem related to the ratios So let me write the question. So in the combination ratio type is given how to solve. Let's see. A is twice as good a workman as B. A is twice as good as as good a workman as B. And together they finish piece of work in 18 days so in how many days will A alone finish the work so see the ratio type of question now how to solve so they are given conditions how A is capacity compared to the B so here A's one day's work is nothing but twice as B's one day's work because A is twice as good that means indirectly saying A one day's work compared to B it's also one day's work is equals to A is twice to B so that is 2 is to 1 so A capacity is more so A is one day's work so whenever the ratios are given you need to take for only one day's uh, capacity only one day's work then A plus B is one day's work is given the problem they can together can 18 days then A plus B is one day's work is 1 by 18 because 18 days they'll finish the work so one day's is 1 by 18 
Now this divide is 1 by 8 in the ratio 2 is to 1. Then we'll get the a is 1 days 1. Simple. So 1 by 18 is a and b is together. Then if you want a alone. So direct problem we can write. 1 by 18. 2 by total ratio. This is together and this is alone ratio is 2 is to 1. Therefore, a is 1 day's work. If you want a 1 day's work, a ratio is 2, right? By total ratio is 3. Into what I should divide? 1 by 18 we need to divide for a and b. That's it. Now we can calculate this. 2 ones are 2 nines are 1 by 27. So 1 by 27 is a is 1 day's work. Hence what we can write? Therefore, reciprocal of that only is the solution. Hence, A alone can finish so alone can finish the work in 27 days that's it so always whenever the ratios type is given we need to take the problem for only for one days that's the main problem so for one day only you take the ratio and one day only we need to divide if you want to B can how many means so 1 by 3 into same 1 by 18. This also can find out the B value. Okay, this way you can solve the problems easily. Next, I will show the problems also which are related to the pipes and cisterns. So we will see now.